Am I the asshole for punishing my son after he said something racist? About a week ago, my 39F family ordered Chinese food for delivery. When the delivery driver came to the door, my daughter 16F was taking the cat upstairs to put in her room because he always tries to eat the food. My son 13M loudly says, make sure to hide the cat from the Chinese guy, as I am at the door getting the food from the Chinese delivery driver. He very obviously heard what my son said and was upset by it. I quickly apologized and took the food. I told my son that racist jokes were completely unacceptable and very wrong and he refused to admit that he was in the wrong. So, later that night I forced my son to write a sincere apology to the delivery driver, his name was on the receipt, as well as write a one-page paper on Chinese culture and a one-page paper on why racism is perpetuated by racist jokes and stereotypes. Then the next day I took him to the restaurant and had him read his apology aloud to the delivery driver as well as give him the papers he wrote. The driver was very appreciative of the apology and thanked me for making my son do it. He then told my son about multiple instances where he had faced racist comments and attacks from people while he was a delivery driver. That night my husband, 43M, and I got into an argument about me making our son do this. He told me that it was embarrassing for our son to have to do the apology and that the punishment didn't fit the crime. I told him that it was much more embarrassing for the driver to have to face that kind of racism and racist stereotypes and that our son would get over the embarrassment. I do not condone any kind of hateful thinking in my house, and the fact that my son said that embarrassed me as well. My husband told me that it was, just a joke, and it wasn't that big of a deal. I feel like I might have overreacted some but I think it's important to help my son understand how what he said was wrong and hurtful. Not the asshole. Sounds like your husband could use the lesson too. Not the asshole. Your son may have been embarrassed, but he should be embarrassed for having said a racist joke. That kind of joke is meant to embarrass and humiliate the target, the delivery guy. You did right by your son by turning that around and showing him that his attitudes and jokes are the real embarrassment. Soon he will be too old to teach not to be racist. You are a great parent and I hope your son takes this lesson to heart. Not the asshole. Your husband's attitude is precisely the problem and is why systemic racism continues to propagate in this country. Kudos to you for a very just and well thought out lesson for your son, which I hope he can truly learn from and perhaps help solve some of the issues that are breaking our society apart. Perhaps your husband needs to do some similar homework in our ed grads to what racism is and how it harms not simply the people it is directed at, but all people as a whole. Honestly, I am so proud of you, in the most non-condescending way possible, for being such an excellent example of a person for your family. The punishment exactly fit the crime. You wanted your son to understand the consequences for his actions, for individuals and for the culture at large. Your decision was smart and thoughtful, and more apropos than grounding him or whatever else. I'm particularly confused that your husband objects to the apology. Asking a teenager to apologize to someone they were extremely rude to is baseline responsible parenting. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You did the right thing. You 100% held him accountable and that delivery driver deserved an apology. Not the asshole. My God, set up a parenting school or start a magazine or something. Amazing. How did your son feel about it after writing the letter and essay and then after meeting the driver? Not the asshole, your son did something wrong and you corrected him. That's all there is to it. Your husband however seems like he condones that kind of humor and chances or your son picked it up from him. Not sure if that's the case, but it is 100% a learned behavior. Not the asshole. You handled your son's misbehavior appropriately. Now for the bigger problem. Where did he learn such dumbassery? Hint. Which parent is minimizing and making excuses for such racism? You need to have it out with your husband about a. Uh, having your back when you discipline your son, and b. What the fuck kind of racist shit is he teaching your kids? Not the asshole. As someone who has faced that exact racist joke more times than I can count, I think you did exactly the right thing. You're a fabulous mum and you're helping society to nip this shit in the bud. The last thing you or any of us should want is for your son to grow up and continue to perpetuate microaggressions like these. At work. In volunteer settings. At the doctor's office. Because that's what minorities face all the time. The fact that your husband thinks these jokes are okay means that he too needs a lesson, realistically several, on racism and microaggressions. 
Can I recommend, so you want to talk about race? By Ijeoma Oluo? You are the asshole. A simple apology would have been enough. Your son is 13. It's one thing to tell your son not to make jokes like that. It's way over the top to force him read out a public apology as if he's being forced to publicly confess like a political prisoner in a totalitarian state. Ironically, Communist China makes people do this, so in that respect, I suppose you are teaching him about Chinese culture. And honestly, if a child made a similar joke about my culture, it would be extremely cringy and I would be embarrassed for him to publicly read out something like that to me. Just an, I'm sorry, would be enough. Esh. Your son's joke was in bad taste, though they do eat cats in China. A paper is ridiculous, but an apology was appropriate. However, it sounds like you're on the high horse along with everyone else these days. Not the asshole. You did a good job. You are raising your kid. Teaching them right from wrong. Unfortunately there are a lot of people who share these views like your husband. It's just a joke. Well it's not. Most Asians I know would laugh lol. Why do parents think writing essays are going to fix things? Gonna get downvoted to oblivion because of Reddit's mob mentality, hive mind, but whatever. You are the asshole. It was shitty for your son to make that joke, especially to be heard by the delivery guy. To have him apologize was good and proactive of you, and I'm sure that taught him a good lesson about offending people. But to write the whole paper and read it all out to the guy is a bit over the top. 13 is very young, and this seems like something that could cause trauma down the line, potentially making him very anxious in the future. He'll also almost certainly hold this against you for a long time. Not the asshole, you handled that situation in the best way imaginable and taught your son that his behavior was unacceptable without shaming him. By educating him, and having him face the very person he insulted, you're teaching him that his words can and do affect other people. Esh. The punishment would have been fine with the apology. The rest of that was over the top. Info. What does he believe he isn't wrong about? Was he legitimately making a Chinese people eat cat jokes or was he making a statement of fact? Chinese guy with Chinese food is here, cat likes food and we hide the cat. So hide the cat from the Chinese guy. Not the asshole at all. The punishment definitely fit the crime. In fact, I would not call it a punishment. It was a correction of racist activity. People who make jokes like that should understand such racism is dangerous. Not the asshole. Queen, we need more people like you in the world. Keep doing what you're doing. Welcome to R. Am I the asshole? Please view our voting guide here, and remember to use only one judgment in your comment. Help keep the sub engaging. Dot. Hashtag Don. T downvote assholes. Dot. Do upvote interesting posts. Click here for our rules, and click here for our FAQ. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit message composed to equals r and me the asshole if you have any questions or concerns. Not the asshole. The comment wasn't a joke, it wasn't even funny. It's a racist microaggression and the punishment absolutely fits the crime. Your son hopefully learned a lesson here, but your husband is an asshole. Not the asshole. You're amazing for what you did. It was a punishment, but you also helped him learn. Your husband is being an ass. A joke or not, that wasn't right to say at all. Racist kids will grow into racist adults if they aren't taught properly. You did the right thing. Not the asshole. Not only were you right to punish him, you did it in a way that was educational and in my opinion did fit the crime. You were not in any way abusive. In fact, you were very creative in my opinion and I hope that because you took the time to get him to learn about others and to understand the rationale as to why it was wrong to do that, it will make an impression. You had your son make restitution to the driver too, and you should be proud. Not the asshole, what you did was awesome. Not the asshole. You handled the situation exactly the way you should have handled it. In regards to your husband, I think you now know where your son got it from. I'd be having a serious conversation with your husband about his inherent racism and why he thinks that racist jokes are okay. Not the asshole at all. You did the right thing and I really hope this taught your son a lesson to not be ignorant to other people. Your husband on the other hand sounds low-key racist, racism is never a funny joke. Racism is so fucking ugly and never okay. Not the asshole you said the driver was obviously offended and then appreciative when your son read the letter and gave him the essay. 
I say that's a better measure than anything that you did the right thing so I'm not sure why your husband has a different opinion. Not the asshole. But your husband does. Why do these posts always smell like bullshit? You are the asshole you overreacted and humiliated your son. Perhaps if your son has to engage in embarrassing to him behavior as a result of his words and or actions, he'll learn not to do that crap. You were right to make it clear this behavior is unacceptable and have him learn about the culture he insulted. And hopefully your son will learn empathy for a guy just trying to make a living and has to deal with people being racist jerks. Not the asshole. OMG no. You are definitely not the asshole. Your son is at a critical age that if you don't nip it in the bud now, it could get much worse down the line. You are the asshole for involving the delivery driver in your son's punishment. You say he was appreciative of the apology but you ambushed him at work, what do you expect? He couldn't very well tell you to fuck off, now could he? It's bad enough he had to put up with your son's shit the other night, but this poor guy is just trying to do his job and you show up at his place of employment and put him on the spot, create a scene, also you can teach your son a lesson. Guess what, it's not his responsibility to teach your kid not to be a racist prick, it's yours, and you're not doing so hot. Not the asshole, please make your husband do the same thing. It's a hard line to draw. People might think that Y equals Ta but you're doing a good job as a parent. You're helping your son take responsibility for his own actions, and pointing out what he did wrong and made him accountable. I think you did the right thing. Edit. Y equals Ta. Not the asshole. I think this is a great way to punish your child, as you're making sure to educate him on why he was in the wrong at the same time and had him apologize to the driver. Great parenting by the way. Putting a stop to racist jokes, even if they are, just a joke, is so important, you might want to teach your husband the same lesson. You are the asshole. He didn't mean for the driver to hear. A joke is fine in the right context. You don't need to give him a lecture on the history of racism each time he makes a joke. An apology for offending the driver would have been enough. Not the asshole, and thanks for doing it. You cut to the heart of the matter and made him face the people that he was belittling, which is the definition of the punishment fitting the crime. You rock as a parent and should probably run for office. I read this as Aida for punching my son. The shock I had at first. Not the asshole, and could you please go around from house to house and teach each and every human on earth this lesson? Our problems will be over when you're done. KTHX. Not the asshole. Parenting, you're doing it right. Not the asshole. Dot but your husband does. Dude this is so fake. This sub is getting filled to the brim with these obviously untrue, or far-fetched stories. Op is obviously not the asshole and they already know that which is why they are seeking internet points. Not the asshole this sounds like a perfect punishment. Sure, it was a fair bit of work for you son, but this is actually a great well-designed punishment that engages him in making reparations and learning about the issues. Great parenting op, keep it up. NTA. Make your husband write papers too. Not the asshole your son will think twice before saying something racist again next time. Teaching him a good life lesson. NTA. Does your partner say racist things as well? He's learning it somewhere. Oh brother. Yes, you're ta. But you came to Reddit because you already know you will mostly get the answer you are looking for from the collective. Not the asshole. I think it is very good that you take a very clear stand against racism in raising your child. Your son will definitely learn from this situation. However, making him read the letter out loud might have been a bit too much. Letting him personally give it to the driver and leaving room for the conversation between them would probably have been sufficient. Not the asshole. Tell your husband to put himself in the driver's shoes.